Welcome back. New Jersey does suffer from the highest COVID-19 death rate in the country. And our Phil Andrews tells us that's putting a lot of stress on New Jersey's funeral directors. Phil. Well, a year ago, the COVID-19 death rates here in the Garden State were among some of the highest in the country. And as a result, that put an unprecedented amount of stress on the state's funeral homes. When a person dies, their friends and family often take part in the celebration of their lost one's life. But at the start of the pandemic, there were so many unanswered questions on how to deal with those who had actually passed from complications of COVID. One lady called me and said, is it true I have to cremate my mother? I said, ma'am, that was not true. You still have the right to cremate your mother, bury her, have a place to a mausoleum, or even ship her to another state. You still have that right. Kenneth Cattenhead has been a funeral director for almost three decades, and during the height of the pandemic, his funeral home here in Newark was inundated with people almost begging for him to take care of their loved ones. I had a family call me at 4 o'clock in the morning and said, would you please take us? I've never had a request like that before. And you can hear in their voice, when I spoke to the officer, they said for two hours, the officer and the family are calling different funeral homes between two counties to get some help. And they called me and I said, woke me up from my sleep, which is, goes with the nature of the business. Would you please take us? We realized that families had needs and we just needed to provide the best we could for the people. Uh, we adjusted scheduling or prepared to uh, adjust scheduling so our people here had um, less exposure. Uh, we would uh, do different things to, um, again, accommodate the needs of the family while keeping everyone as safe as we possibly could. Rick Caruso has over 50 years experience in the funeral business. His daughter Ashley is currently the director of the family's Pensalkin home. For Ashley, the hardest thing to do a year ago was tell family members they could only have a small number of people at events. It was very hard though having to tell families, look, I know that all these people love your loved one, but they can't come. Um, I even got emotional with a family before because they were not necessarily taking their anger out on us, but they didn't like what we had to say, but we have to respect the guidelines of the CDC. Today, of course, families are allowed up to 125 people at a burial, a far cry from the 10 that were allowed in the early days of the pandemic. And while the number of COVID-related deaths have decreased, they are still an issue. Yes. Matter of fact, I think uh, we, we, we're, we're dealing with a family right now. Right as we speak, I think they're coming in to arrange funerals. And uh, this person died of, uh, of COVID-related. So, yeah, it's still there. Now, things are not exactly 100% back to where they were pre-pandemic. But at least for now, well, funeral home directors across the state of New Jersey have a chance to at least exhale. For Jersey Matters, I'm Phil Andrews.